Hello, welcome to the West Way YouTube with myself, Mark Carlo and Riley Finch. Riley, so the news has come out recently and it's come through actually a former employee, uh, Stuart Pearce, who's basically adamant and insisted that the club are not going to be selling Declan Rice this summer. I think, mm. to be honest, from what X has said, and I think, you know, previously, I know he told his patron quite a lot of time ago that really this is this is the setup that the club weren't going to be selling Rice this summer, unless, you know, a ridiculous fee of, say, 150 was met, which I just don't think is ever going to happen. Um, but it's good, good to hear that though. I mean, I was really pleased to hear that. So, you know, there's no way that, we're, well, we didn't just say he's not for sale. We also said the club are actually building around him. They want to build a team around him going forward. So it doesn't sound to me that there's any plans in the future either to sell Declan. Um, what's your thoughts on that, mate? Well, with Declan, I feel like it's a case of, uh, when, not if, you know, I feel like he, and like no player is bigger than the club, but I think inevitably he will move on to bigger and better things. And, you know, to be honest, I will, uh, you know, push away with open arms, I guess. I don't know what the sort of expression would be for that. But um, yeah, I feel like, you know, if he goes to a City or a Madrid or a PSG or something like that, I think he's, he's so deserved for him. He's just a world-class footballer. We see it week in, week out. We mm. defend him on Twitter, you know, with our, you know, uh, very adamantly because um, other clubs just don't seem to see his value. But I never, th I didn't really think he'd leave this summer. I feel like next summer he will. But mm. I, do, I do think it depends on that very important quote of are we building around him and right now it seems like it seems like we are building the team around him especially if we can get players in like Brozier and Lingard who obviously he, he's really fond of yes um but I am surprised to see Stuart Pearce so uh openly adamant about it that he's not going to be sold I mean I didn't think mm. he would be but even yeah. myself I would never go out on Twitter and say Rice is not leaving this summer there's no way like, mm -hmm. you know, there is always the Chelsea talks, the United talks, the Madrid talks yeah, um, and the City talks. So, you know, I I honestly don't think it will happen this window. But um, the way Pierce is phrasing it, it sounds like we have no plans to sell him in the, in the future. The only mm. question I would have is, is Declan Rice agreeing with that? Or is that just kind of what we're saying from our point of view? You know, is it that, oh, Moyes has no plans to sell him yeah. or don't want to sell him? We want to build a team around him. Well you know, what does Declan want? Because if Declan wants out, then I think we should let him go, really. And and I don't think that we would get in his way, if that makes sense. So, yeah, yeah, I don't think there'd be any, we'd be grudging. I mean, obviously, we don't want to lose Rice. I mean, that, that's obvious. We would obviously, I would all want to keep him for the rest of his career at West Ham. Uh, I yeah. mean, for me, there's always that chance that we will be able to keep him longer. I mean, I, I don't believe we will sell him this summer. I can't see the likes of Chelsea or Manchester, you know, coming along and paying that, that, the money that we need. And I just think that, the, especially the way we, where things are going at the club at the moment, it just wouldn't seem the quite right time for this to happen. Uh, we really want to push on, but my gut feeling is next season. I think that that'll be the real the next summer. Even I think that'll be the real struggle. I think because that his contracts were winding down. The, the argument then is, well, can we get him to sign another deal? I don't think it's actually impossible. I think we can get him to sign another deal. I've, I've got a feeling that we'll really push it. There'd be a release uh, clause in there, I think, to be honest. And I think that yeah. would kind of suit both parties. There was like a 80 to 100 million release clause, like another th two, three mm -hmm. years. I mean, what what sort of, what's the maximum length you imagine Declan Rice staying at West Ham for? Can you really, you can't see him seeing his career out. I mean, no. he's what, 23 now. I mean, yeah. surely at the age of 26, he's going to be, you know, hopefully not, but probably trophyless and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, probably not in the Champions League just yet. You'd think at that sort of age, he's going to be wanting to move on to those sorts of things. So that would be my feeling. I, I, I mean, I, I'm funny you said 26, because that's the kind of age I would want to be pitching to Declan and saying, look, I mean, 26 is a great age because, you know, really, I've always thought 26, 27, 28, they're the years that you're in your prime, probably. Your yeah. Best um, and Declan's still got a lot to learn, in my opinion. I know that obviously he is an exceptionally good player, but I mean, at the end of the day, he's still young. He is still young. He is still learning. Um, and I just think, you know, he's got a great opportunity at West Ham. I mean, it's not like he's been denied anything other than trophies. I mean, yeah. he's playing European football. He's playing for England. He's arguably going to be the next thing and captain soon because when Harry Kane um, leaves the role in the club, I think that will go straight to Declan. So mm. it's not like he's not fulfilling anything at the club. And let's yeah. be honest, we can pay him pretty much what other clubs can pay him. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, all right, we can't pay him half a million pound a week, but we can pay him two, 200, maybe even 250 a week. So it's not like he's being denied much at West Ham. I think that would be, like you say, we've got to try and get an arrangement with Declan where it works for all parties. And like you say, I think the having the buyout clause would probably help suit matters, I think. And maybe, I know what I'd maybe say to him is, look, 
you know, if you're going to do a deal with Declan now, I would say, look, we'll pay you the top, top money. Uh, we'll review it every year as well. We'll always sit down and give you another pay rise year on year. But what we'll do is say, I'll say on year one, 150 million, 120 million release clause, the year two, 100, year three, 80. So we'll always get something for you. But that, maybe give him a three year deal and just say that that's the deal um, and we want to accept it. And like you say, and then he's, and even if he does go at year three, he's still only 26. It's not, he's still got arguably another six years in the game, seven years of playing football. So, and he could go anywhere. I mean, we all know how good he is. I suppose the only thing in Declan's mind will be maybe impatience. You know, he's watching other players. He's, you know, Calvin Phillips just gone to City now. No doubt it's going to lift trophies next season and things. And he's probably sitting there thinking, oh, you know, that could have been me. Yeah, but um, do you not think he's going to want to be an integral part of a team? Because, you know, even if Rice got signed by City right now, I mean, mm. you know, who would you have in your team? Rodri or Rice? Is he going to get, you know, mm. is, if he wins a trophy, he's going to want to be remembered for winning that trophy he's going to want to be yeah. you know if he lifts the trophy at West Ham he'll be you know immortalized in West Ham mm. history the captain yeah. who lifted uh the Europa League or the Conference League or whatever you know he's yeah. got an opportunity to win trophies at West Ham and he'll be playing regular football he'll be able mm. to learn his craft from arguably a world-class manager um mm. in a team mm. that should be hopefully consistently fighting for a top six place a top seven could be a top four place mm. and then you feel like there, there shouldn't be that much of a rush if he really loves West Ham as much as we we know he does and he appreciates the fans as much as you know we know he does I feel like you know leaving at 25 26 would be advantageous for all parties you know we're not stupid we know we can't keep him forever but you go you know you leave at 26 and you go to somewhere like Madrid mm. or City or somewhere like that your trophy cabinet's gonna be stacked by the end of it you know yeah. so it just absolutely you know, you absolutely see the need to rush Oh, I agree. I agree. And and as you say, let's just say if he said, look, like we say, if we could get, let's say, three years at Declan, including next season, right? And then he he bring he lifts a trophy of West Ham, lifts an FA Cup, and then goes, you know, he, as you say, he, he's immortal. He, he'll be he'll be stands named after him, you know. I mean, yeah. he's got. The, I mean, that, that's the only thing. I mean, you look at Manchester City, and I like Manchester City. I think West Ham have got a good relationship with their fans, and I do like, and I know a couple of their fans. They're very good, good lads, you know. Um, but there's something a little bit like the romance has gone a little bit at the club because mm-hmm. they're just sort of virtually buying anyone they want and, you know, oh, let's get the best players in the world. And I get yeah. that. And I, we, I'm not, you know, if that was West Ham, I'd be over the moon. But it's almost like a bit of a, so what? You know, where's the challenge? Yeah. You know, Manchester City effectively are going to win things again next season. You know you're going to win silverware. I mean, it's basically guaranteed. I mean, all right, you know, I'm not saying the Premier League's guaranteed because it's very hard to win it, but... I mean, they've just bought the best striker in the world. You know, they bought one of the best midfielders in the world, and it's just you look at them and think it's it's stunning, really. Um, that's the only thing I would say. And at least with West Ham, you're building a project. And it's a real project. You know, it, we're not just going out and buying success, and we're actually having to build for it. But yeah. I, I, I've still got a, you know, I'm hoping. I mean, obviously, my it's my heart rather than my head more than anything. But I've got a feeling that, or hope a bit of hope in me that he will sign another deal with West Ham. As you say, that the, the pitch is, what's the rush? What's the hurry? If he was 26, 27 now, I'd get it. I'd say, yeah, I like him saying, look, I, I mean, the last few years of my career now, I want to go and win things. Like, like we, you know, we've seen it with Harry Kane at Tottenham who wanted to move on. And we don't want a scenario like that. But having yeah. said that, that's another good argument, actually. You know, we look at the Harry Kane scenario. Why don't we just do what that Tottenham did? Just say, well, no, you sign the deal. You're staying here for another three years. I don't care. If, I don't care if you're not happy. I don't care if, if you're not, you're not, you know, you want to go. I really couldn't care less. You signed the contract. You're staying here now. And that's it. And we'll let you go at the end of it. And then he might I go. About that, and, to be honest, I wouldn't no. feel right about that at all. I feel no. like, yeah, I mean, I feel really sorry for Harry Kane at Tottenham. I think it's disgusting what Tottenham have done to him. Uh, you know, this season, he's probably going to fall back in love with the club again. And he's going to be up for it. Um, mm. And obviously, you know, under Conte, they do look a lot more ambitious. But, you know, he's at an age now where he should have won so many trophies. He should like he's a world class striker. He's probably the most complete mm. striker the Premier League's ever seen. Um, and you know, I feel like if Declan Rice wanted to leave West Ham, there'd be no bugbears for me. I feel like I would open the door for him. I feel like he's deserved that. He's mm. been way better than what he, you know the performances he's been putting in in a relegation team, in a Conference League team, in a Europa team, in a mid table team. He's been consistent the whole way through. And realistically, he's a Champions League level player. So to to sort of say, to be selfish, and you have to do that as a football club sometimes, you know, with the Pyatt situation, we should mm. have kept him. You know, I feel like, you know, we should have said, no, you've got a contract work. But with Dex, it's a little bit different. You know, he's an academy. Wouldn't, wouldn't you feel better about it if, 
you know, Declan Rice had an amazing career. West Ham finished his career at 35 um, and didn't really win much. You know, that, that's that. But if, you know, Declan Rice had a career at West Ham, he's been here for five, six years, been one of our best ever players, and then mm. goes on to win uh, trophy after trophy at Madrid or Man City, mm. wouldn't you just feel a little bit better that your academy graduate has then gone on to lift mm. the Champions League or be nominated for Ballon d'Or or something? It's just not going to happen at West Ham if you're realistic. Mm. I feel like I'd yeah. be more prideful in the fact that West Ham have an academy graduate who's reached that level than yeah. it would be if I just, you know, shackled him to West Ham and said, you're staying forever. I feel like I'd be more prideful in the fact that we've managed to do that than mm. to keep West Ham for this amount of time. Mm. I agree, mate. I mean, no, I, I'm, I'm on your side of it. I mean, uh, we don't want to get in a scenario where we're at war with Declan ever. I think the club, I think, you know, at the end of the day, we all want to keep him. The club want to keep him. We know that. And they are going to offer him a deal. And I think they are going to try and sit around the table again with him. But at the end of the day, if he wants to go and that's his desire, then we've got to accept it and just and, and make it make it work for the club. I mean, at the end of the day, we're in a strong position. I mean, I think what West Ham have done, actually, has been really shrewd with Declan. I mean, they put him on a very long-term deal, very, you know, smart. Although I do think we really should have offered him more money earlier on, personally. Yeah, I think we should have renewed that deal. I think we could we sort of dilly-dallied. I think it's a little bit too late now because of where he is now and his stature in the game. He's probably thinking, well, so what? You offer me 200 grand a week. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But realistically, if we'd offered that a couple of years ago, he had a snap bit around off then, and we could have had him for another. We could have had five years, you know, out of him. Um, but for me, I mean, my gut feeling is that it'll be next summer. That's my gut feeling. But I've still got. I'm still holding out a little bit of hope that, as you say, age is on our side with this situation, and maybe we could sway him. Especially, let's be honest, if we have a very good season, I think West Ham's. I mean, one thing we haven't mentioned in this discussion before we wrap it up, mate, is that we haven't mentioned the thing that really matters to Declan, and that's ambition. Yeah, and um, we've got to show that. I mean, that this this window is so imperative. And if you know, like you say if we could say to him, "Look, here's Brozier, twenty year old, one of the, you know the country, you know the world's not the world's maybe, but they're definitely in the country's like leading strikers. You know, he's, he's highly yeah. sought after. You're playing with Jesse Lingard, arguably, you know, he's an England player, very very good, and he arguably could be on the plane as well um, this winter. You know, and the players around him, Jared Bowen, you know, he's in the squad now. I mean, he's got some very good players around him. I'll be saying to him, look, there's not many clubs better than this at the moment. Not much. I mean, you're not, we're not scrudging down the bottom now. We're, we're fighting for top sort of six honours, top four honours even. You know, so there is yeah, a bit, but that's it. But, um, compare, like, Leeds and West Ham in that sense, can you? Because, like, they're just fighting off relegation and they've got rid of Calvin mm. Phillips for 50 million. And then we've mm. got Declan Rice and we're still in Conference League and Europa mm. League and all this other competition. So, you, you know, you are right. Uh, but we are showing ambition, I think. But mm. like you say, this window is just so crucial because Declan Rice is irreplaceable. And, yeah. you know, yes, we'll be getting 150 to 100 or whatever it is we get for him. And mm. yes, we'll be able to reinvest that. And I trust us to reinvest that. Yeah. But realistically, like, if you could pick a CDM or anybody to take Declan's spot, who are you even going to get that would, one, be available and two, mm. that would even be, like, close to price range? So... This window is crucial. It's crucial to kick on. It's crucial to, you know, when you know when you're in a game and you're getting loads of chances, you need to score goals. When you're mm. on top in football, you need to keep the momentum up. So a window yeah. like this, we need to keep the momentum up. And you know, who knows? Maybe we get things like Champions League or Europa League, and then that's enough for a Declan to want to stay. But yeah, I think hundred percent. If we get Conference League next season, I feel maybe he will want to leave. And if we mm. get no European football, I think you'd have to say. Look, I have to be at a club that has at least European football. So absolutely, I absolutely. I, I mean, you should say it, we've got to be got to be pushing onwards next season. Totally. I'd say the very bare minimum has to be, as you say, conference. That's the bare minimum for us now. Um, and I think you know, arguably, we have other players as well, not just Declan. You know, we've got the likes of Bowen and stuff will be thinking about their careers. We know that we've got clubs sniffing around, so yeah. it's it's a big season for us. But you know. It's standing back and looking at the positives at the moment. I think you know we're showing decent ambition at the moment in the transfer window and. Long may it continue, you know, let's, uh, and, and let's just, you know, keep our fingers crossed that, you know, this rice, to, you know, situation develops in our favour because it, it could do. It really could do. I just think, we, you know, I think it's down to us. I think he's put the ball in the club's court and he's saying, look, you know, you show me that this is where, I've, this is where we are need to be. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can do that. Yeah, hoping so. I mean, encouraging words from Pierce, but, uh, you know, we've just got to act on it now. We've just got to make sure that it's not empty words and mm. that we... Yeah, just kick on, really. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Take care. Speak soon.